Hello friends, so today I'm starting a course on the PLC programming using Codices. Uh, Codices, why? Because it is being one of the major player in the automation market which supports different kind of PLC, PC based control system and the ARM based control system. So either they are accessible through the Codices ID or there are many IDs which are built on top of it. So in this part I will be talking mostly about download and installation. So let's go to the link which I will be giving in the description and here we need to first download and search for the Codices development system v3. So this is a free version by the Codices. So they also have a professional version uh, which is a paid one but uh, we'll start by the free version. So once we go to uh, the Codices development version v3 part and we will go to check the different versions. So they have a different versions of the uh this particular id which we can download so this is these are the we'll find all the list here and in this list so they keep releasing uh, in cup in time of uh, um, uh two or three months uh with all the updates the patches so uh we will be doing here with the latest version what they have released so we will download it from the website so in order to download it, uh, when we click, it will ask for the login ID and password. So if you have, so first we need to actually create it. So we will not have uh, those. So I have, so I will be putting my credentials. So, but uh, you can create it by using a create account. And then after that, it will allow you to download the software. So let me show uh, after creating the account, how we will log in. So I'm putting my login credentials. So this is uh, uh, pretty simple uh, as we do for other, any other account creation. So let me log in. So once we do the sign in basically, then only it will uh, allow uh, me to download the software so once the sign is sign in get completes uh, it will take us to the product page and so this is the product description where we will get all the details what all it will support what all it will have and then we need to I can go back to the version part and we need to uh, click to download it so once we click it yeah it will give us a pop-up where it will do for the license agreement so we need to accept uh, those agreement and then only it will allow us to download so yeah we need to accept it here and then it will ask us for the path where we need to save the exe so let me show you yeah so here we will be giving the path and once we say save then it will start downloading into the particular folder so it will take some time to get download So, uh, let me check. So, once the download is completed, then we will be going for the installation part. So here the file is get got downloaded. So uh, we can either double click it or right click and run as an administrator. So once we run it as administrator, it will first try to install uh, exe or uh, uh, installer. Basically, it is a Codices installer is there, which it will try to install in the latest versions. So this will first install the Codices installer. So I will tell you what exactly this Codices installer do. So, 
this will help us to install any of the new updates or any of the new packages so that I will I will explain you in, in the later part when we have to install any of the new package so it will first install this particular code installer and it will take some time to get it completed so just a couple of more minutes and then it will install the particular package once it is completed then it will take us to the different screen where we have to follow the simple steps are there so it is a very basic process and it will guide you at each steps uh, when we have to install it yeah so here it comes to the install shield so it is made on the install shield installer so we need to click on the next uh, for the next steps which we have to follow we have to accept the license agreement we have to set that yeah we have that so here we need to provide the path if we want to change but we will keep it the same select complete and click on the install then it will start the installation process it will take some time to get it installed so it depends on the pc and everything so it will take take some time so let the process get completed once the whole installation process get completed uh, we will get at the last uh, as we get for any other any installer that to click on the finish and then the installation is completed basically so let's check it will get completed here first i have just increased the speed so of the video not of the installer so uh, let's check it out so once it gets complete then as I said yeah we'll just click on the finish and the installation process is completed here so once the installation get completes and then we will have the shortcuts on our desktop so I have two versions so uh, it is showing two versions so the latest one which we installed was 18.4 and we can so as I told you in the beginning that it installed for the Codesys installer. So let me go and show you uh, for the Codesys installer how what exactly it do. So this is the new addition in the in all in the latest versions. So before that it was a different process, but with the latest version they have changed. So you can see here all the versions which are get have been installed. So in the patch two you can see that there it is calculating all the changes what the changes are there so these many things I have to update in the patch 2 so it will keep uh, checking and it will give you updates and for example if I have to do a new change uh, as we installed 18.4 so we can do it what are the things installed which version installed we can even browse uh, what all the things we have to install if for example if you want to do so you can see it is supporting the phoenix plc next plc which they have introduced and so codices has a runtime for those also so we can search here all the different extensions different packages and so it has for linux windows uh, then we can even search for uh, for example the raspberry right so we can type and it will show which all which is the latest version so it supports 
and same thing it has for Vago. So for Vago it supports almost three different so for VFC 100, VFC 200, Vago. Even for the CC controller it has so it is not coming here but they will be releasing maybe. So even let's check for the back off because that is also so I think for the back off also they have for the uh, yeah PC based so back off CX all the updates you can find it in the updates section so if you have to install or if you have to update so we just have to select them and say install or update the selected or install the selected and it will give us the pop-up uh, we will select OK and then it will take it you to the install package part where we will see all the all the packages which we have to update or install and then say continue and then we will start updating the package and it will download install and update so it does all, all the things so this is uh, what exactly the code system installers do. So everything at one place they have out it up. So yeah, based on the update we have, it will take some time to get it installed everything. And then once it get completed, yeah, and that's all. So this is the whole process.